Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is part nine of this video series. In this video, we will be discussing about the reset password functionality in user management in ASP.NET Core identity. So, for making it a better understanding, let's uh, have a look on this flow diagram so we can easily understand that what we are going to implement in this video so whenever any user forget his credential uh, the credential means about uh, you can say the mainly is a password so because usually people do not forget the email or the username so let's consider if the user forgets his password so he will be clicking on a UI or some kind of uh, link button hyperlink or uh, any kind of button uh, which is uh, for for displaying like forget password so when you click on that button you will be redirect to a page or a UI where you will have to provide your email address so when you provide your email address so uh, an action will be triggered that is your forgot password request which takes your email and check in the database if your email exists and according to that email uh, or account it generates a link and send it to the same email so you will have to go to the email and you just uh, the user will go to email inbox and find that link which is sent <coughs> through the, that server and when, I, when he clicks to that link he actually redirect to the website uh, password change UI where he changes his password and then when he successfully changes password he will be redirected to the login page for getting the login with the new password so that's what we are going to implement in this video so let's flip to the Visual Studio we already had uh, implement lots of functionality uh, so if you have not watched all the previous part so I um, say that you must uh, watch all the previous part and then proceed to this video we are using ASP.NET Core identity as a framework so we will have to do the first thing is to conf have the configuration in the startup in the program.cs file so let's come to the program.cs file and add this line right after this configure identity option or sign in option this one builder dot service says configure data protection provider option and option lifespan is from 10 hours that means that link or the uh, token which will be generating uh, will uh, be valid for the next 10 hours so you can configure your token or link expiration if through this middleware now you would have to no, uh, not write any code for any validation of the token lifespan you just have to add this in the middleware and just change the value all right so let's come back here and create an action for a request to change the password so I'm going to add a method forgot password and make it as required field and allow it anonymous and let's write the code var user is equals to user manager find email sync find by email async is the built-in method in the user manager and we are providing this uh, parameter and we'll be adding so if user is not null that means your user is present in the database then you will have to write the positive case otherwise you will have to write the negative case like some kind of error 
So for now, I'm not going to write the negative is you can code by yourself. Let's suppose you find your user. So what you will have to do the next step, you will have to create the token. So this is the line for which you can. So in the user manager, uh, we, we have uh, another method for generating the token. And that token will be creating created according to the specific that user. So what we have uh, fetched from this query, find email by a sync. Now we need to send this token to the same email and we already had implemented the email functionality in this user management service. So after the creation of the token, we are generating the link. So this is the line for uh, which is generating the link. So what we are actually doing, we are creating the URL dot action. That means uh, whatever my website name is for now, it's localhost and the action will be reset password. So I will be creating a uh, an action reset password in the controller. And this is a controller name that is the same controller authentication. And this is the token. And with the token, we have an email. So when the user will be clicking that email link, so that link will be redirect to the website uh, action that is uh, it will hit to the reset password action and the controller will be the authentication so we will be creating this action the next step is to send the email so we already have sent the email in the previous video so we can copy that thing as well like from here let's just copy this and make paste it here and let's make it rename to for cut password link and and let's rename it as from the confirmation email to for cut password link And when the email is sent, let's return the status code and let's change the message. Password change request is sent on email. Please verify your okay and for in any other case you will be in bad request Okay, now it's time to verify this action. Okay, let's try this. I will have to provide my email. All right. while sending the email I was getting error uh, just because of this line so I changed this line of code and created that uh, action of the reset password in instead of this hard-coded string so I just replaced the hard-coded reset password with the name of action 
uh, reset password and in the reset password what I am returning I'm returning just a model and I created this reset password model where we have a password confirm password and email and the token so what we will be getting when we click the action link that link will be generating this action URL and in that URL we will be having two things a token and an email so through the front end we will be displaying on the UI uh, only the email and we'll be storing the token in the back end so when we will uh, provide the new credential with that new credential uh, this token will also be sent but this will not be displayed on the UI so let's check it now let's run it okay we, we have this option forgot password let's try it out and let's suppose I forgot the password for this email So you see the success message password change request send on this email let's open the email now okay. on the Gmail I have this uh, linked received so when I clicking this link you see the URL localhost API authentication recess password so what is is it happening it is uh, hitting or triggering this action reset password and displaying me the result with a token and the email you can look up so the next step is to create a post API so which will be changing your password with this token so this token is uh, like an entry point to change uh, the password request without this token you cannot change your password so let's go to the visual studio and create a code for this <laughs> And let's copy this and paste it over here. And name it as a reset password. Reset password and this is the post. And this will be taking reset password dot email through this email we will be finding our user once we find the user we will be changing the password alright so I have completed the code uh, it's time to explain this so this is the post uh, call of the reset password so we will be providing the email through this model uh, reset password email so we will be finding the user according to the email and when we find the user in case if we fail to find the user we will be providing an error if we get the user so we have a method to reset the password we will not have to write the custom code for resetting the password so identity manager user manager object has already a method to reset the password so it takes a parameter first the user and the second one is the token so how you will be getting the token you will be getting the token through this get request so you will copy from there and paste and this is your reset password and that means is is your new password and uh, if your result is not succeeded something went wrong so uh, you are combining all the error in this loop and showing it on a UI if in case nothing uh, goes wrong and everything is fine that means your password has been reset so let's check it now oh, let's let's come back to the swagger so this is the method post reset password let's try it out and here I will have to provide my new password so let's suppose I am providing my password a b c at the rate 1 2 3 4 let's make this a capital 
let's copy this paste it over here and how you'll getting the email uh, email you will be getting from this get call because we have sent it in the link and same goes for the token so we can handle this on the UI like through the angular or react or JavaScript and this is the token now let's try it Okay, now you see the success message password has been changed. Let's try to log in. Mm, the username was Salman. B and the password which I just set is this A B C D one two three. Let's make it copy. See, I got the token. So that means that new password has been uh, replaced successfully. So I hope this video is quite helpful for you all. If you really like this video, then please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Take care. Love is.